Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, with one of many videos available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In this session, we'll be showing you how to use tool holders and how to create tool holders. Now that we've created a tool, as we've done in the previous recording, we've dealt with the topology and the tool data and the eye data. Now we can define a holder. Now, the holders can come in several adapters. The adapters is actually the part that sits inside the spindle of the particular machine. Ones that are known are, for instance, the HSK A63, BT40, BT50, and we also have special ones. You can always create another one, and we'll go into that in a few moments. If I were to open up BT40, you can see the different holders that we have for that particular adapter, whether it be a BT40 ER16, length of 70, same thing over here, BT40 ER16, we have ER32s, and we can go on the list as we go further down. For this case, I'll just choose one, for example, ER32 by 60. In the window, you can see we have the actual BT, how it's going to look in our simulation itself. We can zoom in by turning the wheel, just like in regular windows, we can spin it around. You can see the actual holder, how it's going to look. If I were to click on this show tool and now accept this as my holder for this tool, you can see that in the diagram on the tool itself. It should also be noted that the moment I chose the tool, it was put automatically into the local section, which is meant for that particular tool table. So now when I create another tool in this tool table, when I go to local, I'll see the holder that I've already chosen for that particular tool table. Going back to global, I'll have the list of all the tools that exist. Now let's take a look at exactly how we can actually create a tool holder to do this. I'll go out of this field by clicking on OK. And we'll go into SolidCamp Tool Library, Tool Holders. Now, the moment I click on Tool Holders, take a look what happens on our screen. What will actually happen is we see the BTs over here. We can create adapters as shown here on top. And we can create the holders as shown here on the bottom. Now what I'm going to do is, is I want to create a new holder. So I'll go to the bottom of the list over here and you see I have a special list called specials. I don't want to add anything extra into what I have on the top already. So I have one for special holders. Now if I were to right click on any of these points, say over here, I can make a new group. As you know, we have a special group or I can just add another holder itself. I'll just add another holder. And in the holder itself, if I were to right click on it, I can give it a different name and I'll just call it one, two, three for the moment. Now note in this window, we have an edit option. Now, when I create a new tool, as I've done now, it goes into edit because we do not have a shape for it yet. Or we have the adapter for the top. If I go into edit in that particular tool, you'll note on the right hand side, we have all different types of shapes. We have a cylinder shape. We have a chamfer shape from the bottom up and a chamfer shape from the, from the top down. We have an, an arc. All these different shapes are over here. Let's start by creating a holder. I'll start say with a cylinder. And you'll note we have now cylinder one over here with its parameters. Bottom of this, I want to add a part with a little bit of a chamfer. No problem at all. Right click on the diagram itself and I can add a shape either above or add a shape below. And I'll add a chamfer of this sort down at the bottom. We have also the parameter that I can add in over here. If I want to add another one uh, on top, I'll right click over here and add a shape above it. And say I'll add another cylinder above. Now let's see what I can do as far as the parameters goes. If I wanted to go into the first cone on the bottom over here, let's say we'll leave our 
top diameter at 30 millimeters. My bottom diameter, I have it at 25 millimeters. And as you see, it had changed. Now let me go into my cylinder, my first cylinder. I'll have this over here also as 30 millimeters. And you can see that has changed there as well. So now we have 30 millimeters of top diameter together with the 30 millimeters over here. Let me just change my height over here and I'll change this to say 25 millimeters. Now I have this. I can continue and say, okay, let's take this part over here, this cylinder over here. I can choose it either from this list or on top over here. And I can say, we'll have this diameter at say 25 millimeters. And as you can see, it has changed there as well. I'm gonna have the, the height say at 70 millimeters. So now I've created a new hole that I can go inside my adapter. If I want, I can continue even more. I can go over here and say, let's add a chamfer to the top of this. And then we can continue going on. I want to have now another cylinder on top of that. So I'll right click over here and add above this a cylinder. And as you see, I can continue building more and more. And then I will have this in my cyber library to be used anytime I want. Now, if I were to click on the show field over here, you can see exactly how that will look during a simulation. And I can continue making more and more holders. So it's actually, you can get any kind of shape you want just by creating the holder exactly the way you want. Now, creating a shape tool is done in the exact same way. I'll go into SolidCam tool libraries and I'll choose the option of shape tools. Again, we'll have our different tools that we have already inside the program itself. And to create one, all I have to do is right click. I can create a new group or just add a new tool. You can right click on this and give it a new name. We'll call it 345. And again, in the edit section, I can make different shapes exactly the way I want it. Say I want to have a radius on the bottom such as this. I can have on top of this, I can add a cylinder. On top of this, I can add another one such as a chamfer. And I can go on and make tools exactly the way I want it. Give it the diameters exactly the way I want to have it over here. That can be done as well. So basically I can get any shape I want. If I want to have another shape here at the bottom, right click over here, add shape below, and I'll add a shape such as this one over here. On this I can add another one. Add shape below, and I'll take just the opposite. I can continue adding on shapes and again, the diameters are all controlled inside each one of these fields. We have the Taurus 1, Taurus 2, and you can see they're highlighted as you go on. And I can make any single shape I basically want in a tool. For more videos on SolidCam Professor, please go to our website, www.solidcam.com, and look for the tab called SolidCam Professor. Thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor. Take care and have a nice day.